Well, Ryan, Kristen, right now, as we understand it, the jury is at dinner. They deliberated for a little over three hours today. They didn't even get the case till almost one o'clock in the afternoon. They wrapped up slightly after four, about 4.15 today. They are, cannot have any electronics. They can't have cell phones, iPads, laptops, nothing. They will not be watching local news. They will not be able to see what's happening, what we are saying to you right now. They also had to listen to three hours of closing arguments today along with jury instructions and I want to bring in my colleague Tom McKee right now because there was a Cincinnati police sergeant who was brought up by both sides today and I'm guessing if you're that Cincinnati police sergeant that was not your goal to be part of both sides. That would certainly be correct. Sergeant Shannon Hine was one of the two lead investigators assigned to take the statement of Ray Tensing two days after he shot Sam DeVos. Now how she did that and what she said in court when she took the witness stand like you said, was used by both sides today in their closing arguments. It was two days after Ray Tensing shot Sam DeBose that he sat down with Cincinnati Police homicide detectives to tell his version of the shooting. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm getting dragged by this guy's car. I don't want to die today. I'm in fear of my life. One of the people conducting that interview was Homicide Sergeant Shannon Hine, one of the lead investigators in the case. She testified for the prosecution, but surprised everyone when she was cross-examined by the defense. Based on my time and training with internal investigations, I thought I was looking at an officer-involved shooting where its actions may be determined to be justified based on the events surrounding the actual shooting. Tensing attorney Stu Matthews urged jurors to give considerable weight to that statement. I would suggest to you that Shannon Hine, who is as close to the investigation of this matter and knows as much about this case as anybody, hit the nail on the head. Ray Tensing is not guilty of murder. He's not guilty of voluntary manslaughter. Was this the good old boy network kicking in? Is this how they would have treated anybody else other than an officer? Assistant Prosecutor Seth Teeger criticized the interview as too easy because investigators called it a formality. While he termed officers amazing people for what they do, he added police shouldn't be judging other police. There must be a safeguard on police because if they review themselves, they can become too powerful. And it's this review of the police and the military, these checks and balances in our country through the judicial branch, which lets you, the citizens, decide whether something's appropriate, is why we do this. Now, during the closing arguments, Stu Matthews also pointed the finger at Sam DeBose and his fiance, Deshonda Reed, for having a role in Sam DeBose's death. We'll have that coming up on 90 Decided Six. All right.